Hey everybody, and we're back with another video today. We're looking at the setup you got on the screen here. I went out and I just tested almost every device that I had access to pretty easily today. My laptop with Sidecar running on my iPad Pro, the Logic Remote app on my other iPad, and then the Logic Remote app on my phone. I have other phones and things with family members, but I just wanted to test this setup because I like the idea of seeing how well it works to have all of these connected simultaneously. And at first, I actually did have one little blip. It was really sluggish at first, but then I figured out it was my laptop trying to join the VPN automatically with no success, and it was just ruining all the connections. Once I figured that out, restarted everything, and it works great. So I have Logic running in the main computer, the sidecar iPad running with the touch bar at the bottom, you can see, and some other key or shortcuts along the left side. And then the actual screen itself, that's the mixer in full screen mode with everything on it. And the pencil does interact with that. My finger doesn't, but the pencil does. Then I have the remote app on the other iPad down here. Responsiveness was great and didn't seem to have any issues. It was uh, working pretty well. And then I just have the remote on my phone running the keyboard shortcuts or the shortcuts page. So I can hit stop, save, all of those things right in front of me. Now you can see I've got both iPads connected to the laptop. For both of them, it's just because they were getting low on battery and I wanted to keep charging them. They weren't using the cables as the connection source for either of those things. They were both connecting over the Wi-Fi. What did I think about it? I don't know. I think that there's a lot of potential here for working. It's nice to have a second monitor that's portable that I can take pretty much anywhere. And it's, I can use it. I can either mirror the display or have... a a second display with different things on all my plugins, whatever. I like being able to run the remote app at the same time as the sidecar. One other thing I would mention is that the laptop and the iPad Pro are both on the beta versions of the new software. And the other two devices, the phone and the smaller iPad, are both on the last stable version that's uh, not uh, an actual beta. So it's the last released version of iOS for both of those. Okay, I really like it. I think that it was working smoothly. In terms of ease of setup, it was simple. It like took nothing to get all of this working. Just had to be on the same uh, Wi-Fi around the house. And it had no issues whatsoever, except for that first little sluggish thing, but that was caused by something else. Once I solved that, there were no issues. Nothing was crashing. Nothing was closing down randomly. I used it probably for a good hour and didn't have any issues with performance. Uh, that's not been the case every single time. Sometimes when I've been testing out Final Cut 10 with Sidecar and I'm using the iPad as like a monitor display for the video, it has crashed once or twice. But for the most part, with Logic, I haven't had any crashes at all. Okay, so I think there's a lot of potential here. I think this is really cool to be able to use all these devices like this. I have another iPod, and I actually do have another iPad, which can run instruments through iDAM, and so I can connect those at some point and see just how many devices can work simultaneously doing each a very individual, distinct, different thing. Kind of exciting. So anyway, just letting you know that this was an option and how it's working. I'm really excited for the new version to be coming out. Once that does, I think that we'll be able to see just how reliable it is and how far we can push it. Okay, hope you're having a great week and I will talk to you soon.